Well, good morning, everybody. So my day starts from a little hotel in Poland. A walk outside, it's really nice. There's a, that's like an indoor swimming pool here in this little town in Poland where I'm gonna put in the bunkers, but it's uh, April 17th, 2023. Let's go get at it. My ride, he's finally arrived and <laughs> this thing. So this is the factory where the bunkers are made and there they are, they're loaded on the truck and all the men are ready. It's a big day. There's one right there. So my guys are ready. Good. That's the PP vault. They're gonna put brick around that thing after they put it in the ground. Ah, there's the mud room and the stairs. And this is the way to the shooting range. So you drive right through the factory. Oh, when you go to the shooting range. You can see the crane over. See? Oh yeah, I can see the crane already up in the air over there. Yeah, it's a big one. And there's the bunker. Okay, I thought the bunker would already be there. Are you gonna put a private road to the shooting range? Are you just gonna make this the road? Uh, this is the road. Okay. So, it's, so here right now we will be cutting all of the forests. Yeah. And you see the hills from this side? Yeah. So from this side we will be making big uh, bow and crossbow shooting range too. Oh, in there? Yeah. Okay. Like, like we have all of the down hills. Archery, from, yeah. From archery. Because there is more and more people. Maybe Survivor Lily will learn us how yeah. to shoot from So you can, you can have your archery in, in Poland, huh? Just not the guns. Yeah, but we, we cannot have crossbow. No crossbow. Wow, look at all this dirt. So all the shitty lanes are taking shape. So uh, as I can show you, this is the plans of the shooting range. So this is the one that you got stuck with my brother. Yeah, he's a great driver. He's Somebody got us stuck. <laughs> Somebody doesn't know how to drive through mud. <laughs> Here, 70 meters. So here we will have about 150 met steel uh, targets where we will be able just to shoot from close distance. This is 100 meter range. This is 50, and there are the other ones. So in total is 40. So here is the container with Atlas, and here we have a two bunkers. All right. So this is the first time I've put eyes on the concrete pad in person. And that is a 350 ton crane. And we're hoping it's big enough because this shelter, the way David made it, weighs 90,000 pounds, that's 45 tons. And that is heavier than the shelters I make in the USA because this one's gonna have 20 feet of earth on top of it. So it's six meters to the roof. So we're gonna put the 50 foot bunker right here and over there we're gonna put a 20 foot pew pew vault for storing all the guns. And this is the pad for the uh, pee, pee vault where they're gonna store all the guns. Tell you what, this is one sandy soil right here. It's like being in a playground box. It's packing up the whole way from the factory. That's one ninety thousand pound beast right there, but it's gonna have twenty foot of dirt on top. Heavier I beams, heavier channels, heavier everything. Look at that. That's almost like railroad tie I beam right there.
Na zewnątrz, bo będzie tak na pilno, a to będzie szarpą. Good? Yeah, it's good. Ok, it's good. Hello. Guys, I hope you're enjoying today's video, but did you know that Atlas Survival Shelters is coming out with a new precast concrete bomb shelter at a pre-order price of only $20? thousand dollars and as you can tell it's quite roomy and spacious it has room for four people to sleep room for your nbc air filtration system which is included water barrels toilets batteries and everything you need to survive up to 30 days so don't miss out on your pre-order today 100 percent financing will soon be available it's on an angle hope it doesn't hit the truck got two drones covering this even so that's 90,000 pounds that's heavy and it must be 50 people here watching this of course this bunker is going to be open to the public so the entire world can come and see this one in person so it's not like it's private There must be 15 cameras filming this right now. <laughs> I've never seen so many cameras filming a bunker install in my life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 with mine. <laughs> 16 cameras. Boy, we could get some angles on this one. Tell them to pull it down two feet that way. So did it go smooth like you wanted? Yes, but I was afraid that it will not make it. Smooth. Well, it made it.
that's the mud room right there with the generator in it. Oh, the welding machine's inside there, I see. Yes, yes we are. Okay. Wires and everything. It's picking up level, that's nice. Let's bolt this thing together, guys. These guys, they put a bevel. They're gonna weld this right here. They even put a bevel on it on both sides. They're gonna run a string or a hot pass and a cap so they get a good weld. So this has been taped back, so when they weld it, it doesn't burn up the epoxy paint. Very good job. Knock some of the foam off to get it in there. It's like a big cannoli. Uh, you mean my Polish sausage? sausage. Huh? Yeah. All right. Sausage. With mustard? Coca Cola. And Coca Cola. All right, you're all right. Oh, this is all right. Got me a Coke. A couple of Polish sausages. They tightening good. Look how thick the doors are here. That's uh that's about five sixteenths. That's more than a quarter. Very nice doors. I'm gonna make him swing the ass end of the mudroom around. It's got a little gap up front. All right, he's gonna take off the front chain so we can swing the ass around. There you go. All right, he's doing what I asked him. Take off the front chain, pick up on the end. And we're gonna swing it around just about two inches. So we got the mayor out here and the government and the military because the shooting range is gonna be used by the police and all kinds of organizations. This is the mayor of our city and there is another very important person, Mr. Staros, Starosta. Two of the most important people in the city. All right. And fire extinguishers in case they catch that foam on fire. To get this bunker down in this hole, because that 350 ton crane, I think 90,000 pounds was too heavy. They actually took out a lot of the stuff out of the bunker. They took out all the flooring to lighten it, which is probably about 5,000 pounds, some lights and some other things, the air system, just to get it down to where we could lift it up and get it in here. All right, so this is the flooring they took out to lighten down the bunker, just to loosen up the weight. That's a composite plastic flooring right there. 
But it took everything to get that in the ground 45 tons before they took out the flooring and the air systems. We took the tension off the mudroom with the chains. It's gonna start welding the legs on now. So now the tricky part. We're gonna try to pick it up to where it's gonna pick up level. Well, that's good. Hold, oh, hold it there. Redo the chain now. All right, here we go again. Let's try a second time. See if it can come up level. Okay, see the bottom's in, engineer? The bottom's in, so it's a pain in the ass. That's pretty close, that's not bad though. Hold on. All right, here we go again. So I made him hook it up for a third time because I want to try to get as level as I can or let the top touch first so you can get the bolts in the top rather than in the bottom first. This should be pretty damn good right here. See the second line starting to tighten up. Right. That looks level, that looks good. Yeah, that's good. All right, take it in. What does it weigh? Five tons. Five tons, so it's 10,000 pounds. Okay, this is a staircase for a bunker that's uh, from the roof to the top is about 11 feet of soil plus concrete to the bottom of the ground is 20 feet or about uh, six meters, 6.25 meters. The same thing here. They put a bevel on this all the way around it so they can get good penetration. So there is a little bevel there. They also slotted their holes. I know you fabricators that watch my channel, you like to see all this stuff. He's going to have to leave his machine in there because he's got to weld that around the door as well. So when you're done, you're going to have to carry the machine out by hand up the stairs, okay? You have no choice. All right, so they hot dip galvanized their legs down here. Nice. Oh, here comes the stairs. So they're gonna have to bolt the bottom first, looks like. 
You get it? No, dobre. Dobre. And keep in mind, everybody, this is their very first one. Every one of these guys, this is their very first bunker to install. So they're learning. Engineer, tell them put all the bottom bolts in, okay, please? Yeah. This foam is hard. See that? Yeah, it will move a little bit. Not much. All right, so now what we got to do, we got to lift it up on the crane to close the gap to get the bolts in the sides. All right, y'all ready now? All right, that worked. See, it closed it right up. All right, get all the bolts in there. Put the nuts to the outside so we can impact them, all right? Nuts facing towards the outside so we can impact them. There you go. You can't get an impact back in that corner. All right, I told the crane to go ahead and turn it off. They could go to lunch while they can weld that. That's a lot of torque pulling down over here. That torque's pulling down. It wants to push that out. So you gotta make sure it's anchored on the bottom and it's welded on the, on the wall as well so it doesn't move because that's a smaller mudroom than normal. The weight of the mudroom in this case isn't really supporting the stairs. It's not that big of a mudroom. So we need to get it anchored and welded really well. Also, getting a leg under the stairs over there will help too. Stop. Got a one-eighth spacer. Okay, one-eighth. All right, that'll work. That's good. You can tighten those by hand. All right, there's the escape tunnel. Oh, they're bringing couches in now. Okay, so he did me a square escape tunnel instead of the typical round because he wanted to. Inspecting the welds. Looks very good. These Polish can weld very good. You gotta get some weld on the inside because there's so much weight right there. That's five tons that wants to push forward. It can literally shear the bolts off inside if he doesn't have enough weld in there. So I told him to get some weld inside there before they unhook it so it doesn't have a shearing load on it. They took all the furniture and the flooring out. They're putting it back in through the escape tunnel right now. The level? Perfect. All right, he's bringing down the air system and some more parts. Like I said, they had to take all the weight out of this bunker to get it in. Because it was uh, it was too much weight for the crane, even though it's a 350 ton crane, 90,000 pounds is too much. That's a little security measure, putting those chains in there. It didn't move. All right, we're gonna put a leg underneath the stairs since it's so cantilevered out to take the uh, pressure off the mudroom. Got a fire. Woo! It's that foam. I heard everybody yelling. I wonder what it was. Hey, well. So they're trying to get the furniture in here. They're putting the flooring back down. So you took everything out of here almost except the bathroom. All right, there's the escape tunnel. We're just going to set it on the ground back there for now. Let's go ahead and lay it over. That's what it looks like inside. We'll put this on last. Because um, 
We've got to get all the stuff inside. We've got to weld it too. And uh, so we'll end up taking the weld machine through the stairs when we're all done. Yeah, this foam is, um, is flammable. So uh, it went woof. Oh, there goes another fire. Yep. And uh, we can do about that. Okay, he's put a little uh, fire extinguisher on it. <laughs> we got us a fireman on the roof there. Putting the fires out. All right, so I got them welding this inside and out. So they run their MIGs out here. So they're putting a good MIG weld all the way down. They had a fire, that's why it turned black there. But uh, we're gonna MIG it inside and out. The bolts will be become immaterial, but they should always be galvanized just because that's the outlet's way. I, I don't like anything that can rust. So they can technically take those out right now, but they're not. So the shelter alone, I just got the word from the crane operator, it weighed 40 tons after we took out the flooring, the furniture, the kitchen, counters, the furniture and everything. So he was maxed out. We could not have gone any further with this thing. But now we got to reach all the way over there to get that 20 footer in. I'm, I'm hoping he can reach that far. Pick at the devil, there's the 20 footer. Now this is the pee pew vault. This is going to be where the gun range stores all his guns. Uh, we got a fire. There we go. <laughs> They're going to assemble some scaffolding so they can get that leg up under the staircase here. They can get up there and weld it. It's gonna, the footer's going to sit down on that cinder block down there. All right, we're getting ready for the second bunker. The pew pew vault. All right, so if anybody is curious what a bunker like this one here costs, well, normally it's about 200,000, between 250,000 with, uh, with the platinum that has the generator room, the mud room, and the decontamination room. This one's just got basically a mud room and a generator room. But uh, this bunker was made really heavy duty with 12 inch I beams and heavier channels because they don't have the materials that are available to us in the USA. So this bunker ended up way more and cost you more. But you know, it's about a quarter million dollar bunker right there. Now this one's got D rings picking it up. Well, wow, he's gonna have to reach all the way from over there to all the way to that pad right there. That is a long ways. Well, guys, this video is getting pretty long, so I'm gonna make that part one, okay? So the question is, Will that crane be able to reach that far? You'll be surprised. So make sure you tune in for part two of installing this bunker in Poland. So guys, I'll see you in the next one.